actually always loved tracking text to things, to moving things, tracking text through space and time. But since I kind of switched to DaVinci last year, I never learned how to do it properly. I always did it in After Effects and since switching, I don't even use After Effects anymore. I don't even have After Effects anymore. So now I kind of got to the point where I was like, well, maybe I could make this text and create something cool for Instagram Reels. And lately I created this one Instagram Reel about Indonesia with all of the shots since I've been living here for so long. And I just had this one drone shot where the drone in Komodo Island just come off the ridge and reveals this beautiful island. And I thought, why don't I just struck the name Indonesia on top of the ridge and the drone flies through it. So I kind of figured my way around it and now I got so many questions. So I thought I'd just make a video for you guys and hopefully you can get something out of this video and learn a bit of it. So the first thing to know is that you actually need the right shot for this. You can't really do with any drone shot or any shot you have. I definitely recommend a gimbal shot or a drone shot that doesn't have too much going on. I found that if there is too much reflection, too many things happening, it's just not going to be that precise. So I definitely recommend something like a simple drone shot like this one coming out of the ridge, which is the perfect example for it. Then let's hop into DaVinci and go into the Fusion tab. Now we press Shift Space as a shortcut to open our effect tab and we select Camera Tracker. Now what you're going to do is click on Auto Truck. Just wait. Once you're done, we're going to go over here into Soul and we're going to press Soul. And this is where the magic happens. You're pretty much hoping that Soul will bring you this little number over here to one pixel or less. If it's more than one pixel, I would recommend just changing the shot because it's just a bit too complicated. But if it's between like, let's say one pixel and two pixel, that means that you can still kind of solve it. So you can go down here to the maximum error and change it slightly down. And then you can try and solve the whole scene again and see if the pixel goes down. If you're, you know, if you're like 1.2, 1.3, it should still be okay. Just make sure that whenever you actually select the points, not all of them are red, but you know, some are red, some are yellow, some are green, whatever. So make sure that the red points are not exactly where you want to track the text because that would make it a lot harder. So once this is done, go to export, click export. Now. You have a bunch of new nodes, so we're gonna kind of organize it and you can remove the camera tracker and you can remove the ground plane. Then you select the camera tracker render, you take it and you drag it into the media out and now it's all good. Then we go into the merge node, we take it and we drag it into our second window. Now, this is very confusing, but it's pretty easy actually. There's a bunch of points. You're gonna right click in the bottom right on the window and you're gonna select camera 3D. It's getting easier. Now, all the points are too big, so let's go into the point node and bring the size down. Now, kind of pick the points that you want your text to go to, then deselect the node and simply create a 3D text. Now, let's write whatever you want, for example, random or Indonesia, whatever, whatever you want to write into your text. And then we're going to drag the 3D text onto our merge node. And here you can kind of play back your scene and you're kind of pretty much done. But if you want to have the effect where the text is actually tracked through the camera, like I did, all you got to do is adjust the perspective of the text compared to the camera, compared to the drone. So to do this, what I did, what you have to do is pretty much go into the actual frame that you want the text to disappear, the drone to fly for the, the, the text or whatever. And we're going to drag the perspective of the text. So right click again in the right corner, go back into perspective mode, take the text, drag it towards the camera. Now, sometimes the text goes kind of out of frame and it's a bit un uncomfortable to like drag it around. So you can also go into this other transform button and just use this wheel to adjust the actual place. Now, you kind of want to make it close to the camera, but not that it disappears because you still want to see the text. Then we're going to go back into the first frame and we're going to adjust the size on the text inspector. Here is where we kind of want the size of the text to look like when we start a shot. And then as we go for the shot, you can see that the text is getting closer and closer and closer. And then we pick the frame that is going to disappear. We make the text disappear by adjusting the transform slider. Go back to the start, see if it still fits. If not, adjust the size once again. And this should be it. Once you play this back, it's pretty much done. Now, what I like to do is 
pretty much add a bit of motion blur and there's a few ways you can do this for free and paid. For free you can simply make this a compound node and then go back into fusion again, add a motion blur node, make sure you add motion blur going to better or faster, whatever works better and make sure you tick towards the next frame. For the paid version, there is actually a plugin that it's a motion blur plugin and it's called Real Steady Motion Blur, which works perfectly for text. So in this example, I did use the paid plugin, but you can use the, the free one as well. It kind of works the same. It's just a bit more precise and looks a bit better, I feel, with Real Steady Motion Blur. And once this is done, you're done. That's it. All you gotta do is color grade your shot and uh, yeah, make it fit and uh, good luck. Hope you guys learned something new. If you did so, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.